the peppers. So what I'm trying to figure out is, is this a different plant than this one and this one? All the seeds came from the same pepper. However, that is so strange. It's like the second set is coming up twice. But on these, here's the first set. This is the second set. And this is the third set. On this one, first set. Second set. Third set. And we have the fourth set starting. So here is my question. What's going on here? So yeah, it looks like two, maybe even, maybe even three. There's three sets of leaves coming out at the same time. And I don't know what kind of pepper this is because I had a jar and these are from seeds that I saved from last summer's harvest. So I just have like seven different varieties of pepper seeds that I collected. And I am planting them in sets. So these were the last set that I planted. And it may be a hot pepper, it may be the habanero. But here is the set before those is here. And I'm not sure what these are either, but I do know they are a different variety. And they're just sharing some space with a sucker that I pinched off of a tomato plant that was growing in my sister's yard. So I'm rooting him and he has taken root. If you guys want to see, we'll just show you. You can see the roots down there. They belong to that guy. He's really come a long way too, so I'm very happy with this. However, the tomatoes aren't gonna grow and I have heard before that it's probably better to pinch those off to give the plant more energy to focus on growing rather than bearing fruit because the fruit probably will make the plant topple over at this size so it's better to let the plant, the plant grow a little better. Now, I do have more peppers that I planted. Actually, that's not the last planting before the ones I just showed you because I have another one here these and I'm not sure what this variety is but I think they are going to be the hot peppers yeah these are hot peppers and the pepper that I grew them from looked just like this I drew it so I could remember what kind of pepper it came from. And this pot my granddaughter planted. So these are Janila's hot peppers. Um, I also have, where are my other peppers? There was a planting that I did before these hot peppers and they didn't sprout which prompted me to plant the ones that I showed you in the beginning of the video. 
and so I used the dirt that those were in and I put it into my other plant that I am rooting which is here check this out you guys this is a bonus for this video this plant here I forget what it's called but I got a clipping from Rockford Public Library thank you Rockford Public Library when I got it it was about let's see not that leaf not this one I think it had three or four leaves on it so we go one two three four five six all these small leaves here this is all I had to begin with when I first got this and I put it in water and I got my first root to grow and from that point on I put it in this pot and now it's growing 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 spinning around all the way around here then it goes down the side of the pot there as you can see comes out of the pot goes down and around and then look how big the leaves start to get like that is almost as big as my hand you see that it's almost as big as my hand now let's go around and around and around Do -do 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 -do. look how big the leaves are now that one is even bigger so then we go in around and around and around and look at this one I think this is the biggest one of all there's my fingers look at this y'all don't play with my plants and we are still growing back behind the clown and look at this is the newest leaf. Look how big that is. You see the difference? These are the first leaves. These are the new ones. And they can attribute all this great nutrition to my addition of dirt here. And so now let's talk about this dirt. The dirt I put in here actually was the dirt that contained the pepper seeds that you see that are now sprouting over a month after they were planted and had no success. Then I throw them the dirt over in here and filled it up with water and now a week later, no two weeks later, I have peppers growing. So now I don't know what these are either, but they will all get a chance to grow because this is what I'm doing. This is my experiment. I am growing food inside and growing food outside, but the inside food is just my journey for apartment style living to show people that live in apartments that you can grow your own food inside an apartment in a small space. These are some tomato plants. I've taken a couple of them out of there and put them in different places because they were getting pretty big. Here is one. So this one I'm going to show you next when I put it in the pot where it is. It was about, I'll say maybe this size. Yeah, perfect. It was about this big. Okay. And I have been pinching the leaves off at the bottom because they have been getting uh, some spots on them. Maybe some early blight or whatever. Uh, sun spots. And so I pinched those off to give the chance, give the plants another chance at life. And I'm glad I did because they have bounced back. And some of them so strong that they're now going to be going maybe outside or in bigger pots. So this is the biggest one that I have in here and I'm really shocked at it. 
can see that. So, yes, you can do this. Now here, coming from here, moving to here in my Monrovia container. You can see now here I have some ginger growing. I have, um, I think it's a plant or it may be some oregano. But here he is. This is the tomato plant that I pulled. See? This is the plant that I pulled from there. He's getting big, so I put him in here, and now look at him. He's taking off. See his stem? You can tell where I pulled the leaves off at the bottom. And his top canopy has now started to splurge. If you can notice, the leaves... Sorry, guys, it make you dizzy. But the leaves, what's happening now is that this section in between the leaves is stretching out farther now. You can see on these, they're really close together. See, they're really kind of bunched up. They're not growing very fast, but they are growing. And this one now that it's got more root room, it's not fighting for root space. Now he's having a chance to grow, and he is definitely growing. Now, another plant, I had two different varieties of tomatoes. So this is going to be a regular full-size tomato but over in this big pot where my peach tree was was it got consumed by bugs and it lost the fight however I'm keeping it in a pot because it may just come back to life who knows we'll see I'll give it a chance but this plant here is a um, cherry tomato and he is really taking off. He also came out of there and was about, let's see who's in here is about how big he was when I moved him. He was about, yeah, about this big. It was about this big when I put it in there. So now this is his new space. He's coming out, winding around the cage. Leaves have extended out a lot farther than they used to be. They're spreading out now, relaxing, and I just wound it around the cage. Just so it can have some sturdiness. And I noticed yesterday that we're getting some new growth right here. He's made it all the way up to the top of the cage and is now touching the grow lamp. So I'm going to have to move that because I put the thermometer under to see what the temperature was under the grow lamp. The soil temperature and the surrounding area temperature both were 80 degrees. And this is my ginger plant. Someone please comment and tell me, is this plant huge or what? What do you think of this ginger plant? Does it look healthy? I've never grown ginger before. I have no clue what's going on here. I first had the middle stalk for the longest until it grew and grew and grew and grew and grew and grew. And grew and grew and it's still growing it's almost reaching the top of my trellis that I have over here which nothing wants to stay close to look at this guys look at that oh my gosh it's up there it's all the way to the top oh my god I can't believe it so yeah, this is one stalk in the ginger, and then after that got so tall, I noticed the second stalk coming up, which has already made it to the grow lamp. Oh wow, she's touching the lamp too. No, 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 don't do that. Your friend there got burnt from touching that. See, this leaf was touching it, and it's touching it again, and this is what happened. 
ate that fried. It got fried. So, yeah, I'll leave this this way. But, yeah, that's my ginger. Check her out. And now I'm having a third stalk coming up. Now, I have a question for you guys. Should I bury that? Or is that supposed to set, like, at soil level how it is? Someone comment below and let me know. Okay. So, that's it for today's tour, guys. I just wanted to show you guys my peppers. Um... I think I have some more, but yeah, Jamie Branch, Branch Organics, you guys stay tuned, and there's my new sign, what do you think of my signs, Branch Organics, apartment style gardening, and you guys want to take a look, I have some more peppers, are you ready for the reveal? And these are sprouting little baby peppers. Voila! This is another of my pepper plants. The first set I, I planted were banana peppers and they are outside. Um, these may actually be some banana pepper plants. And here's another tomato plant from the bucket in the window. He had to be separated because he's getting big and he needs some root room. But they were just sitting in the windowsill. And their sun comes from right there. They only get about two and a half hours, maybe three hours, four maximum on this side of the house. But in the mornings, I get an extra three to four hours sunlight from this direction. The sun comes up over there and sets over there. So, yeah. I do pretty good for sunlight. I just think that they could do a lot better if they had um, a higher concentration of sun. Hey, I got two more peppers coming up in there. So peppers are easy to grow. All right, so that's it for the pepper tour with Branch Organics. And the little, little bonus to my house plant that's going crazy. And look, people. I almost forgot to mention, but the reason why I wanted to show you this, number one is because the dirt and the fact that my peppers decided they want to sprout now. But what I'm doing here is coaxing the plant to grow roots so that I can snip it and make new plants. So far, so good. Let me show you guys how the roots are doing. It's really working. Can you see that? Look over here. I don't want to disturb them too much, but look at the roots that I am getting. Do you see this, people? When I do plant them in their own containers, they are going to do very well. Very, very well. The roots have even split off and are growing little feeder roots. So that's great. And what I'm doing, I just cover them up like that. I just take the dirt and cover it up. Just, just keep the roots covered and just, you know, encourage it to grow. And it's been working. So if anybody else has this plant and you want a quick and easy way to root it, without cutting it and putting it in a vase of water. You can root it this way while it is still growing. Just like I'm gonna do on this side is get another, wow, look at that. It's ready to go. It's like, I don't need dirt, I know what you're doing. Cool beans. So yeah, what I'm gonna do and just take another tray like this, fill it up with more soil, and just lay that in there, just like that. 
Um, I'm kind of waiting because I noticed down in here there's some new growths coming out you guys can you see that there's one on that side and there's another one coming out here so it's about to pop off two new arms from right there and I thought I saw another one gonna sprout somewhere right there you see that that's gonna be another one so I see since I see that coming there I think I'm gonna have to cut it maybe somewhere behind there so I'll probably cut it in between these two roots when I do decide to split it off but yeah check this out I am so so excited about my progress now here's some more volunteer tomatoes that came up i don't know what kind they are but i do notice right away that the leaf structure is different from the ones that i am growing now so i'm gonna let it grow and here i have some chives and this is just um a plant that i planted some flower seeds um who knows what it's gonna turn into but i planted it out of a whole cup full I only have these two that actually survived so this is why I said this may be this could either be oregano or it's a plant because they are similar in structure Slightly. I don't think they're the same anymore. That's got to be oregano. Because I did plant oregano in the pot where I got this from. I'm noticing it's starting to branch off down in the bottom. You see that new one coming? Right there. Perfect. So yeah, this is just a flower. I think I pulled some seeds off of a, oops, sorry about that guys. I pulled some seeds off of a plant that I saw in a pot um, down by the library. It was gone to seed, so I just popped off a seed head and planted it. And here's what I got. Free flowers. So hopefully it will bloom. I'll get some flowers on there and it will attract some pollinators to come and pollinate my plants and yes the pollinators can get inside the windows are open sometimes the screens are open sometimes so sometimes they get in and when they get in I let them stay because they're coming to visit my plants so it's a win-win situation and these guys are just getting some cool breeze from my fan because they're not outside and they need to have as much of a closeness to an outside environment as possible. Um, there's no wind blowing so I have makeshift wind. Alright, just a sneak peek at my jewelry station. I sit here and I make jewelry sometimes so yeah. On to nothing. Alright, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching today. Branch Organics, Jamie L. Branch Independent Distributor is over and out. Wish me luck on my peach tree. Hopefully it will come back to life. I think that I may need to just sit it outside in direct sunlight for a week or two or three. Maybe the rest of the summer. And I could possibly have some branches growing by the winter. Then I can bring it inside and nurture it. Alright, so thanks you guys. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. And I will be sure to respond. Thanks guys. Peace out.